the Kura Island project, um, which is where we're sitting today under this fabulous shelter, has been going since 2004. Seeing something that was a dump restored to something really worthwhile that the community and others can enjoy. The island originally was extremely messy. There was dead pigs and old cars and batteries and broom and gorse and the smell was horrendous. So it was just so lovely to have it all cleared uh, the way that we have it now. There was no control over the rubbish being dumped. Uh, it was regularly burnt and then it was infested with rats over a long period of time. So the transformation has just been out of this world. It's amazing. Once the landscape, we got the money for the landscape plan, we were away. And we had about 60, 50, 60 people turn up with <coughs> tractors, chainsaws. We planted 600 plants in two hours. Yeah. And so, you know, the enthusiasm of the community was wonderful. Has just yeah. been what has made it so rewarding. We've learnt how things are going to succeed because this is a harsh climate. It's dry and it can be very hot. And we've really learnt where we can plant things mm. that are going to survive. And everyone's very excited about the black fronted tern. The dangers for it are fishermen, dogs, floods, all those usual things. But they're there and they're not, they haven't disappeared, so that's quite exciting. It wouldn't have happened without the Waitaki and Waimati District Council's Environment Canterbury. Uh, the Department of Conservation yes. have been absolutely amazing. Then uh, the funding which we've received from Meridian. And then we <laughs> had the grand opening which the whole island was full of tents and, and stalls and music. We had music, the band and it was, it was great fun.